Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we have a refund video. I have more fake Miraculous Ladybug toys. So in a previous video, I showed these. These are fake Miraculous Ladybug toys that I found off the internet. And as you can see here, some of these are pretty bad. Look at this one. This one is supposed to be of Cat Noir, but he looks kind of like a very uh, possessed creature. <laughs> He doesn't even have the right skin tone for a human. And this figure of Bubbler is also pretty bad. Just take a look. Oh my gosh. Here is one of Ladybug and we got some spots in the front but there is none in the back. And of course we have some fake Kwamis. These were not too horrible. So we have Flag here. He does have a much larger body. And here is Tiki and she only has one spot on her forehead. So these are a fake toys. Today I have more. So I found these off the internet. Here is a pack of Ladybug, Marinette, Cat Noir, and Adrian. And then I also have another pack of more Miraculous Ladybugs. And as you can see, we have some new Kwamis in there. Look at that. So I am super curious. Let's go ahead and open up this larger pack first. Here is today's trivia question. What does Natalie say to Dusu to transform? Do you know the answer? Comment below! So this set comes with four figures. And these are kind of like six inch figures. And let's take a look. We have Adrian here. Alright, let's turn his head around. Okay, so we have Adrian. His outfit looks um, pretty accurate. He has a white jacket and a black shirt, but his stripes are miscolored. He has golden hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is not blonde hair, but it's actually golden hair. And he does come with a weapon, which we know that Adrian never uses um, without transforming into Cat Noir first. And what's interesting is that, look, there's a little bulb and there's a little button back here. So if we push it, he actually lights up. Or at least the bulb on his chest lights up. Kinda interesting. I'm not sure what the purpose is for to have these uh, figures light up, but um, <laughs> that's what they do. So here we have this figure. He is not very well articulated, only in his shoulders here and in the waist. Next, let's take a look at Marinette. Alright, so here is Marinette. She is wearing a pink jacket and I think there's supposed to be a flower here on her chest, but um, it's not really well done. She is wearing red pants <laughs> and red shoes. So she looks like she has black hair and green eyes. In fact, they almost look like they have the same face. What do you think? Without the hair, do you think it's from the same mold? Maybe, huh? So she also comes with a button in the back and her chest also lights up. She does come with an accessory. She comes with a little purse. A little red purse. Next, let's look at Ladybug. Okay, let's look at his Ladybug. Here she is. She does have spots on her body and on her legs. Only on the front though. Her arms do not have any spots whatsoever. And her back also does not have any spots. I think this is something that we can fix with some paint. And let's take a look at her face. So she does have black hair and we know that she is supposed to have dark blue hair. But look, at least she has blue eyes. Hmm. <laughs> she does come with an accessory which is her yo-yo. It has a little string attached to it. So this one is okay. I think we could also put in the spots on her yo-yo since it does not have any spots right now. And she also lights up. Alright, our last figure here for the larger set is Noir, and he also comes with a stick. This is the same stick that Adrian comes with, and he is all black, which is pretty normal. He does have a belt tail, which is okay too. Here is a close-up of his face. He has his little bell here, and his hair is also golden. <laughs> so she, he is not wearing his Miraculous on either hand. And just to compare, at the very least, he has the green eyes and uh, they both have gold hair. So he also, actually, he has the button to light up, but maybe his battery or his bulb doesn't work because he doesn't light up. Alright, so far I am not too impressed 
with the quality of these figures. Let's take a look at these smaller 4 inch figures. So over here, I think I have Rina Rouge. This is supposed to be Rina Rouge because we kind of have the orange outfit. And this looks very strange because this does not look like Rina Rouge at all. This looks a little bit like Ladybug with a ponytail. <laughs> but she does have fox ears and a mask and she does have a miraculous here even though the paint is not very well done. And um, she does come with a Kwame. Oh my gosh, this one is kind of scary to me. Look, the eyes are looking in different directions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my gosh! I think the eyebrows are pretty accurate, so we'll give them that. But um, other than that, this is kind of scary. Alright, next. Oh, look at this! I think we have Hawk Moth. So, Hawk Moth apparently is now female. Oh my gosh, look at this! Hawk Moth is a female and she is wearing a bun on top of her head. She is wearing a black outfit instead of a dark purple one, but she does have this little um, kind of wings that Hawk Moth has on his outfit. Look at this, oh my gosh. And here is Noru. So, Noru here is completely black. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is kind of funny. I think they're all supposed to be, I think he's supposed to be dark purple, right? Next we have Carapace and Waze. And look at this, Carapace here is also a girl. Oh my gosh, she is wearing a ponytail. But she is a different mold than uh, Rina Rouge because her ponytail is skinnier. And just take a look at her. So she has her green outfit on, dark green on the front, and a turtle shell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is too cute. I actually think I like this one. So here is Waze. Waze is green and also has a little turtle shell. And oh my gosh, his eyes are a little bit faded, but um, I think if the eyes are darkened a little bit, he'll actually look kind of cute. All right, who else do we have next? And Cat Noir here again is a female. This is an all-female team. So Cat Noir here looks kind of like Ladybug. This one has black hair, but the pigtail looks just like Ladybug. And this one is just all black with a little bell here and some ears. So they didn't do a lot of details here. So for the tail, it looks like it looks like a real cat's tail instead of a belt. And here is Plag. So Plag is black like he is supposed to be, and he also has green eyes, but his body is much bigger. So we can compare this Plag to the other ones that we have. I think I actually like this one a little bit better. Next one, I think we got Ladybug. Okay, here she is, and here is Ladybug. Ladybug looks, let's see, just like Cat Noir. They're like twins. <laughs> Her hair, uh, at least the pigtails here, is a little bit shorter than the one that Cat Noir has. So this one is much closer to the real ladybug. And I can see right away that she is missing quite a lot of spots. In fact, some of these spots are overlapped. There's a few big spots. And the back is completely missing spots. <laughs> So this one needs a lot more work. She does have a little yo-yo on the side, which is also missing spots. And here is Tiki. Oh my gosh, so Tiki has no antenna whatsoever. And I think she's supposed to have little wings here in the back too, but this one is completely missing it. So it seems like Tiki has one spot, no antennas, or maybe these are the antennas, the ones that stuck on her side of her head. And I think she looks a little scary with those big old red eyes. And let's just take a look. So here is Queen Bee. So Queen Bee has long black hair that is not tied up. And she is wearing black gloves. And so for the most part, her body is yellow and black. And this one looks almost like the real costume for Queen Bee. So we have these lines over here, um, some dark areas and dark boots down here. And here is her Kwame. So this one is Pollen and she looks, I think, the best of all the Kwame so far because she actually looks like a bee. Look at this. So she does have blue eyes. They're painted pretty poorly. They're not really on the eye. But she does have this little uh, fluff here to look like a bee. So 
here she is. And look, she even has a little stinger. <laughs> So I think she's actually really cute. She does have antenna, she has a little stinger, and she actually looks like pollen. And finally we have Myrura, who is transformed by Dusu, the peacock Kwame. So this is really interesting here. She does have long hair that is tied here on the bottom. She is completely blue or I guess almost purple, wearing a skirt and she has a peacock tail. And down here she is wearing a pair of black boots. It seems like she has the most detail of all the other figures. Over here we have Dusu. Oh my gosh, so Dusu is dark blue and she has little feathers up here on top of the head and also has peacock tail too. So the answer to today's trivia question, what did Nelly say to Dusu to transform? The answer is Dusu feathers up. Did you get the right answer? If you did, comment below. I win! Alright everyone, so what did you think of these fake miraculous ladybug toys? Did you like any of them? I think some of them had pretty good details, like this one, the peacock one, and also it's kind of cool to have this little turtle one with a little shell. As far as the Kwame, I think Pollen came out the best because it has the most features. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!